So I'm headed up Mount Musilak. I got uh, shuttled over, so I'll be going southbound because uh, this way I go right back to the hostel. Um, ooh, this is a lot of water right here. <laughs> well, I'll talk and then I'll figure out how to get across this water. But that means I can do 10 miles and I'll end up back at the hostel because today it's like a high of 28, 29, probably 20 at the peak. There's supposed to be 50 plus mile per hour winds, uh, negative wind chill. So if I didn't have a warm place to go to at the end of the night, um, I probably wouldn't be out. It's conditions really are a little bit too bad to be like staying out overnight. Um, Cause the problem is if your core temperature drops and then you can't get it back up, then that gets really dangerous. But um, this is reasonably safe option because I have the option if I go up and this, so this part right here, you'll see it's really steep and it's like hand over hand stuff um, with rebar in the rock to go up. So um, yeah, that should be all right. But if that's too bad, I can just come back down to this road, go back into town, and then just doing 10 miles, even if I get cold and whatnot, 10 miles um, isn't that long. As long as I keep moving, I should be, should be all right. It is so beautiful out here. Beaver Brook Trail. This trail is extremely tough. If you lack experience, please use another trail. Take special care of the Cascades to avoid tragic results. Actually, isn't that cold right now? I had every layer on, fully expecting I would need it, but I had to take off two layers already. Probably as long as I keep climbing, should be all right. This is pretty steep. This is um, some of the steepest on all of the AT. into a really beautiful day. I'm really glad I came out. Wow. Here you are. Your spikes on again because it's pretty dang steep and I'm moving really slow right now not because I mean it's hard but I've been stopping like every 30 seconds to take pictures and video but it's worth it this is really cool and the the temperatures and weather is really nice down here I'm sure up high once I get out of the tree line it'll be windy and cold but it's like the perfect day right now this is about as vertical as, I, as you can get Wild. Well, just took a nice little slide. Wow. The steepness here is really, it's, I can't describe it. Um, the camera doesn't capture it at all, but it's like, 
as steep as it can get before you just slide off the mountain. I'm at the Beaver Brook Shelter. I'm done about two miles in two and a half hours, but uh, climb will be over in another couple miles and then I'll be at the top and then coming down it should be less steep so hardest part is over. Well that's a cool bird. It's a fat guy. <laughs> All right, two steps forward, one step back. I really can't uh, emphasize enough how steep this is. It is really at the limit of what you can go up. Wow. Almost, <clears throat> almost to the top. Pretty slow going. Wow, look at this view. Um, really deep snow in some places. I was going up to my, up to my waist there a little bit, but almost over the top. And I think that's actually the summit of Musalak, so a little bit further away than I thought. on me. Steep. That was quite something up there. Um, rest of the day should be pretty easy. Just have like three or four more miles and I'll be back at the hostel. And it worked out really well. Um, the hostel doesn't officially open until early May, but Pack Rat happened to be up there cleaning up and whatnot. So uh, he let me stay. And uh, he's a triple crowner, hiked a bunch of trails. Um, really nice guy. And yeah, it worked out really well that I went up uh, Beaver Creek Trail too, because man, that was hard going up. I mean, it's, it's a hard descent without any snow and ice. But with the ice, it would have been really dangerous. Because even going up it, I was slipping and sliding. And there was that one stretch where I like slid for 20 feet. I couldn't imagine trying to descend that. Um, would have been slipping and sliding, falling all over the place, and there's that creek right next to it. So that would be a, the catastrophic slip, is because there's several of those places, if you fell, you would slide right into that creek, and then that would be really bad. So I'm glad I was able to go up it, and man, those winds up there. That might be the most wind I've ever felt. 
Um, pretty crazy, but I'm glad I went out today. Uh, it's a beautiful day now. And knocked out 10 more miles. Crush this bridge. Uh, be all right. The universe really does have a sense of humor. The road up there, that's where I end today. And uh, this is gonna get wet feet right before I end. Hikers welcome. I got really lucky. Hiking out of Kinsman Notch right now. I uh, climbing Mount Wolf. I think Mount Wolf is, gosh, my memory, crazy bad. It's maybe 3,500, something like that. After that, it's the Kinsmans, which are both, I think 4,500, somewhere around there, 4,200, and. Uh, the report from Kansas Express, who came through maybe two weeks ago-ish, um, was that there was like waist deep snow between the Kinsmans, and that was where he got off after uh, the Kinsmans and then went over to the PCT. So uh, once I get past these, I will be the furthest calendar year triple crowner up north. There's one other guy one of the northbounder, I might have said this already, but Secretariat, who is past Mount Washington now, so he's probably, he might be into Southern Maine now. He started, yeah, January 1st. Look at this, I'm repeating the same words <laughs> in the same video. Uh, but going isn't too bad right now. Uh, some ice, some snow, but pretty good footing. I'm still pretty low in elevation and the wind is just ripping but thankfully I'm protected in the trees here and uh, we'll see what it's like once I get out of the tree line on the Kinsman's oh yeah um, stay two nights at the hikers welcome hostel uh, pack rat was there he's such a nice guy he triple crowned did most of his hikes in the 90s and early 2000s and uh, yeah he's just really good to hikers um, and that was fun to it's always fun to hang out with hikers like that and you just swap stories and one story brings to mind another story because you have all these all these memories that don't really get dug up until someone starts talking about their own trail experiences so that was really fun yeah, super nice guy. Probably one of my favorite favorite stops so far on the uh, on the AT. Damn, it is so beautiful. That's not too bad. I'm listening to this band called Wookie Foot right now and the lyric is there's some people so damn poor that all they have is their money. I love that line. Yeah, I don't have much but man what a rich life of experiences and I would not give this up for well if you gave me a billion dollars I could stop through hiking, but I still want to do other adventures. So I guess there is a price on it, but um, yeah. Some people are so damn poor, all they have is their money. I'm very happy with the way my life is going. This is 
pretty juvenile, but um, this animal drew a little penis in the snow. It is so beautiful. You know, I'm really not going to mind going 10, 15 miles a day through all this. It is so cool and beautiful. If I were going 15 miles an hour through like New York, yeah, I'd quit. <laughs> or 15 miles a day. But through this stuff, this is cool. So one little benefit, I can kind of speed down the slopes. Just gotta be careful. If you're even falling on your butt in the snow, it's not a big deal. <laughs> that makes some miles that way. Hi. Hi, buddy. <laughs> well, I think something got killed here. Look at all that blood. Yeah, small, probably a poor little squirrel. It's pretty icy, but the metro spikes really well. Wow, what an amazing view! Wow, I think those are. That's got to be the presidentials over there. It's really interesting how the body and the mind can just adapt to any circumstance. Like, I don't know, I'm just used to going through the snow now, going really slow, and it's just the new normal. Seems like the stuff in the middle between these peaks, it's a lot harder going. I guess people come up from the roads, tag the peak, go back down. They're not making the traverses between the peaks like I'm doing. It is noticeably more snow sinking in way deeper. It just hasn't been tramped down like the other sections. Deep, slick, deep. <laughs> it's kind of dangerous. There's uh, water down here, so gotta be careful we're not sink through. Yeah, this is pretty hard going. You just never know when you're gonna sink in. Sometimes it's up to the knee, sometimes it's up to the hips. I think I'm going less than one mile an hour through all here. This is annoying. This area, yeah, I could definitely use snowshoes, but thankfully these stretches are short. Jesus. Cool, so I've gone seven miles in six hours. Ooh, buddy, that is Kinsman, South Kinsman. So I gotta climb next. It's 
is the Eliza Brook Shelter. Means I've gone about eight miles. Eight more miles to go. Good thing I'm wearing waterproof socks. I hate going under blowdowns, especially in the snow. Jesus. So I just have to crawl my way up this damn mountain. This is really hard work. <laughs> really hard work. It is so damn steep. So this is level. And now this is where the trail is. So this is level. And this is where the trail is. Oh. It's so steep and so slow going. So every other step you sink super deep. Finally on top of Kinsman South. Um, man, the snow here is so high. I mean, all the branches that are usually above your head. <laughs> Jesus. Man, it is so steep. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> I gotta climb up there. Pretty incredible view. Man, this view behind me though, pretty spectacular. It's taking me so damn long. I'm gonna catch the sun sunset up here. So it's been oh, about uh, nine hours to go 10 miles. I've got six more to go, but I'm going to keep going. Get into Lincoln tonight so I can dry off my stuff and be warm.
Holy cow. This is incredible. My God, it is hard. I, some of the stuff, uh, it's, I'm too tired to pull my camera out for all these things. Well, apparently I'm too tired to talk, but it, uh, it's like surprising me that I'm able to make it up. Now, this spot, I need to, both my hands to get up here. But, wow, how incredible. I think I'm finally at the South Peak. We're pretty damn close. If it's not here, it's sitting right behind me. Wow. Man, in the sun, it was amazing. I think those mountains are where I'm going. I'm not sure. All right, this is <laughs> for real this time, the summit of Uh, windy and cold, but not nearly as bad as it was yesterday. But, wow, this is so cool. Like, hardly any AT hikers get to see this view. Uh, my God, what an adventure! I'll tell you what, this will be for sure. It's probably some of the hardest, most difficult thing that I ever do in my life. I hope so. I don't know how it gets hard. And this side, there's some snowshoe tracks from smart people who have the right gear. <laughs> wow. It's so steep. At this point, it's like mountain climbing. I'm having to grab the trees. See, I'm moving along the edge of the tree line. I have to grab the trees to pull myself up, hand over hand. Because <laughs> that's the only way I don't slide back down. Going downhill, I mean, this is really fun. I can go so freaking fast. Oh my god. <laughs> Wee! So amazing! Wow! Alright, you're gonna get a million shots of this. <laughs> oh man. Guess what? Another shot of this mountain. My uh, water is freezing. So that's nice. Well, I've lost the trail and it's dark, but I have my GPS, so I'll be able to find it after going in the general direction. This is the Lonesome Lake Hut. Looks warm inside, smells good, they got food cooking. And I'm gonna keep moving. Um, I'll talk about these huts in the sunlight tomorrow. <laughs> Interesting. Do you see those lights? It's on the other side of the lake. Huh. Weird, those 
voice makes me think of the stories of uh, this bunch of UFO sightings up here in New Hampshire. Also like the weird Bennington Triangle stuff. I'm sure it's probably just somebody out there, but uh, I don't think camping's allowed out there, so there shouldn't be somebody camped on the other side of the lake, but you never know.